uh, that the board members are communicating with the administration and letting, uh, letting the administration get to the community to inform the community. There was open, hear open hearings this afternoon. I'm concerned there was no community members here. There were very few. And for those that were here, I don't even know if they really knew and understood what was going on. So the information need to get out. And I know it's on the website. Everybody may not have access to the, uh, their computers to look up whether or not if it's going to be a board meeting and what happened. But board members, please uh, be considerate to the community. Um, outbursts from board members is just uncalled for because it's just a matter of respect. I don't think I'm disrespecting anyone on this board. It's because I am actually sharing facts to what actually happened. So if it happens in an open board meeting, then it should be spoken in open board meeting. Thank you all, and please consider us when you all are drawing your lines for our districts. Thank you, Ms. Morris. Mm -hmm. hey, Reverend Jefferson. If you would state your name, full name and address for us, please. Yeah. I'm uh, Reverend Larry L. Jefferson. I'm the senior pastor of Faith Memorial Church in Dallas, Texas. I'm uh, one of the senior consultants for Positive Exchange and Heaven 97 uh, uh, radio station, uh, 970. Superintendent of Texas Northeast Gis Jurisdiction. churches in Dallas, St. Louis, and Chicago, um, reside in Lancaster since 1983 at 507 Martinville, Lancaster, Texas, 75146. I'm the father and grandfather of LISD graduates and uh, grandchildren who attend superintendent so far and now that I've said that I've been um, uh, given some information that I want to um, get some facts more facts about uh, concerning the redistricting of um, district 3 some individuals uh, that the district three to hear from the board on this matter before our coalition proceeds uh, in any plan of actions. Now, I'm, um, as I said, I'm, I'm really proud of the leadership uh, of, uh, since um, a new uh, pre president. information that seems that our leaders are leading us, uh, our city or our children backwards, especially toward Jim Crowism, then I'm concerned about it and I'm not up here just wasting my time. So I would like to hear about it, know if this is actually what's happening, uh, then statements about I don't want those apartments in my district. Now, the apartments don't vote. The people in the apartment uh, are the ones that vote, if, and if they're not. Okay, Reverend Jefferson, your time. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, we have a third communication. Ms. Rosetta Jefferson. You please state your name and address for us, and you have three minutes. Thank you. 
name is Rosetta Jefferson, 507 Martindale, Lancaster, Texas. I came to the board tonight because of the redrawing in the district, and this is my first time um, really coming since the new board members. I see that we have new board members, new administrators, and everything looks different now that I've been away. But I'm here to talk about the redrawing of the district also because I've been here over 25 years, and it was a time we had board meetings every Monday. It's changed also. But I want to say, and I agree with what Reverend Jefferson has said, so I won't go over the same thing, because I think that it's very important that we, redraw, we draw the line correctly. If not, You know, I see that we have board members, and some board members' children are homeschooled. So, you know, if you're going to homeschool your children, draw the line correctly. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Jefferson. All right, to Madam President and board members, what I like is, is, is just an opportunity to share with the community the plan going forward as it relates to redistricting. Uh, I know this item was not on the agenda and I was not in attendance at the last meeting. But I want to assure you, uh, first of all, uh, we are completing our meetings that we scheduled, uh, input meetings we scheduled with, with our, our attorney on, no, excuse me, on December the 8th. We will have a public hearing where a public uh, People of the, of the public will get an opportunity to come forward and to share input as it relates to the to the drafted proposals that we have at that point in time. And then, if we are able to to narrow that down, uh, again, no decision will be made at that public hearing. But there will be an opportunity for us to receive input. We will take your input, and then we will uh, have the attorney draft plans. And then, at a preceding board meeting, at at a, at a subsequent board meeting, then we'll be uh, considering uh, the the maps. But again. What we're doing right now is getting input from uh, trustees, as, and we'll also bring we'll bring all those plans to the community, to, so you can share us your input on, on each one of the plans, and from there we'll make an educated decision that's going to have a positive impact for for everyone. And so that that's the that's the goal. So to the community community, you will get an opportunity for public input on December eighth at six o'clock. Thank you. This time we're going to move on to our action item, adoption of the consent agenda. First item is discussion of possible approval of the October 11th, 2011 minutes and October 17th, 2011 minutes. Also, the second one is approved exclusive beverage. Second consent agenda is approved exclusive beverage contract renewal with Dr. Pepper Snapple Group. Third one is approved bid awards for district apparel bid 11-10-0117. Number four, approval of renewal of contract with Odyssey Wear. I make a motion we approve the consent agenda. Second. I have a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented by Ms. Clark, a second by Ms. Mahat. At this time, we'll call for a vote. Ms. Mahat? Yes. Mr. Melcher? Yes. Ms. Clark? Yes. Ms. Jarvis? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Dr. King? Yes. Myself voting yes, motion passed. I'm going to appoint, uh, make a motion that we recess this meeting and reconvene the first meeting to enable us to hear do the public hearing we did not complete in the first meeting okay so motion on the floor is there a second second have a motion by miss clark to reconvene the public hearing this to recess this meeting and reopen the public hearing and a second by mr melcher this time i call for a vote miss maya yes Mr. Melcher? Yes. Ms. Clark? Yes. Ms. Jarvis? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Dr. King? Yes. Myself voting yes. Motion passed. 